योर क्वेश्चन इज द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस टू साइन एक्स इज डिफाइन फॉर डोमेन पाई बाई टू लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू पी फाइंड द लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ पी फॉर विच एफ हैज एन इनवर्स फॉर दिस वैल्यू ऑफ पी फाइंड एफ इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स एंड स्टेट द डोमेन ऑफ एफ इनवर्स एक्स नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस वॉट दे टोल्ड they have given one function that only we will write the function is f x is equal to 5 minus 2 sin x and here they have given the domain also that domain is they have given pi by 2 less than equal to x less than equal to p now what they have told see that find the largest value of p this p value we have to find it out how so this is your domain now we will go for the range range so here what we have to do just we have to substitute this pi by 2 in place of x So first, first we will take what f pi by two. That is equal to phi minus two sine pi by two. We know that sine pi by two is what one. So this is one. So now we got phi minus two into one is two. So five minus two is three. So we got three. Next, what we will do? We will go for one eighty degree. So that is your f pi. So here we will got five minus two sine pi. Sine pi. We know that sine pi is nothing but zero. So now two into zero is zero. This will become zero. So your value is five now. Next, we have to take much more. That means two seventy degree. That is three pi by two. So here we will get f three pi by two. That is equal to five minus two sine three pi by two. We know that sine three by pi by two is minus one. So here we will get minus one. So now what we'll get five minus two into minus one is plus two. So this is equal to seven. So if you see the range, what it is, and what they have told see that find the largest value of p. So largest value of p is three pi by two. So simply we can write it as largest value of p. Is equal to three pi by two. Next, what they have told see that f s n inverse for which the value p phi. f inverse of x so now first we will write the range so now the range of fx is what so range so here the value is 7 here the value is 5 here value is 3 so now we will write 3 less than equal to fx less than equal to 7 so this is the range for fx now we have to find out f inverse so f inverse how we will write just we have to take this value as y so here we will get y is equal to phi minus 2 sin x now we have to replace x with y and y with x so we can write like this x with y and y with x 
So what we will get? See that y here y is there. That means we have to write x phi minus two sine y. Now bring this to this side. So here it will be x minus phi is equal to minus two sine y. So what is your sine y? So we can write sine y is equal to x minus phi by minus 2. Here in denominator minus is there. Just we will change the sign of numerator. That is equal to we can say it's phi minus x by 2. So now what is your y? So we can say y is nothing but sign inverse of phi minus x by 2. So this y is nothing but what? It is your f inverse of x. So this is the inverse of fx. So that is your this value. Now see that what they have told. And state the domain of f inverse x. So we know that the domain of fx is the range of f inverse x. So this is your range of f inverse x. This will become and the range will become the domain of f inverse. So this is the range of this it will become the domain of f inverse x. So this is your domain, what they have told. So that is nothing but 3 less than fx is less than 7. So here, when we are writing the domain of f inverse x, here we will write what? What we have to write? f inverse x. So like this we have to do it.